Good morning, y'all. Y'all caught me slipping. I thought he was going to do a commercial or something this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let me set my head up so y'all can see me. Hopefully, I don't drop this. Listen. So today's message is, good morning. Y'all going to be able to look back at all of these messages over and over again. So I'm not going to put a date stamp on them or anything. But today's message is, you got to do the time. You got to do the time. Listen, if you do the crime, you got to do the time. Listen. Everybody wants an overnight success. Everybody wants to make money quickly. Everybody wants to get to that freedom point quickly. Well, yes, we want to get there as quickly as possible, but you got to know that you got to get do your time. Um, if you think about any person that has longevity and success, they actually put a lot into it. Even people like Beyonce, who started out very, very young, but she started out very, very young. Like I know she was doing uh, patches and stuff as, as a young girl, right? If you look at people like Steve Harvey, he's been working hard for years. And now that he's in his 60s, he's now reaping the rewards of all his success. You got to do your time. I remember um, being a young dentist in a uh, practice and everybody tried to act like they were the doctor. Listen. My whole thing is you have to do the time because there's a knowledge base that's needed to get there. Somebody understand what I'm saying. When you go to school for a long time, right, to get a doctor's degree, you know things and you understand the psychology behind it. You understand the chemistry behind it and the biology behind it. So my thought process was everybody wanted to have the right answer and Google the answer, but you can't Google all the knowledge when you did the time you got to go through this coursework you got to do the work you got to work hard at whatever you're doing now i'm not saying that you need to go to college i you know that's my path and i would recommend that path but i'm saying that's not necessarily the path what i'm saying is you got to do the work there's no way that you're going to get to a exponential amount of success by being lazy or trying to get rich quick or trying to put your money in. And I talk about passive income all the time, but it's not get rich quick because in order to get rich, you got to have some money, right? Because if you get two to 4% on a hundred dollars, what is that? $2, $4. You got to get to the point where you got to do the time. That's why I say anything you do that you value, You'll put time and effort and anything else you need to, to get there. That's why you got to work within your passion, because if this your passion and you really want it, you got to have a gut crunching, I want it and I'm willing to do anything to get it, you know, kind of mentality within reason, anything to get it within reason, within our godliness to get it right. You got to do the time. You work hard. You go to high school, you go to college, you go to undergrad. All this time you're learning to how to think, right? And you may not learn it in college. You may have to learn it on on-the-job training. You may have to learn it through a course, going to seminars, doing a workshop, whatever you need to do. But you got to take time because that knowledge is just not out there in the world. You got to put it in your brain through reading, through watching different things, through coursework, working hard, writing it down. It is not easy. Every part of your life that you want to live that's great, you have to work at it just like my weight, I got to work at it every day, every day. I got to think about what I'm eating and I fall off. Everybody going to fall off, right? But every day, if there's a certain amount of success you want in a business, every day, every day. Now, we do tell you take time to rest and refresh and all of that, but you got to go at it in a certain industry that you want to be in and you want to be the best and you want to be at the top. You got to learn more about it. That's why people say don't do a whole lot of different things, right? Or if you're going to do a whole lot of different things, do things within the same kind of realm, the same kind of industry, right? So for me, you know, I did dentistry. Then I thought beauty also was hair and makeup due to total makeover. And then I've been coaching dentists for years. So the things that I'm doing is within the same realm, in my opinion, but you had to do the work to get there. You got to know something really, really well. And like, like for me, dentistry, I still go to seminars. I still do workshops. I still read up. I still do all of that and more to stay abreast to be the best because I want to be the best at everything. 
even reality TV. If you watch somebody like um, Carlos King, prime example, he watches the reality TV shows to see what they're giving. He got it. That's his craft. He knows it. Now, I don't know reality TV like that. If you ask me what's going on on Housewives of Potomac or Atlanta, or whatever, I don't know. I know the ladies, but I don't know what's going on. Carlos knows. That's why I love talking to him, because he knew everything that was going on in Mary the Medicine, because that's his craft, right? And I love that people take their crafts very seriously and those are the people that excel like carlos king is doing very very well but you see that he only has exponential growth ahead of him i'm looking for the people that are willing to do work i don't want to waste my time with people that are overnight that don't want to do things now there are some exceptions i'm a biology major they tell you there's an exception to every rule. There are some, there are going to be some overnight successes, but very few and far between. Like I said on my last blog or somewhere, I was saying the city girls, the people say, you know what? They were overnight success. They didn't really work hard. The, if you either putting the time in or before or after or doing, them girls is working hard, right? Depend on what your industry, and that goes for anything. Anything you do, and if you want to be the greatest at it, you have to put the time in. And a lot of times as a youngster, you need to start at the level where you're, I ain't gonna say at the bottom, but at the bottom and learn every aspect of the business. That's why people in Fortune 500 companies and, and different big corporations have said that a lot of their, their uh, CEOs and, and CFOs and presidents and vice presidents started in the mail room. They started at the bottom and learned everything. And it took time. It took motivation. It took years to get where they want to go. My God, my God, you got to put in the time, even to be a preacher. You need to be called to be a preacher. But what I'm saying is you got to put the time and effort in. You got to read the Bible. You got to learn the word. You got to do and act the word, right? That's why when people are doing certain things like fitness, they got to stay in shape. Or ain't nobody going to listen to them. And you're talking about relationships. You ought to know something about relationships. Either have been married or are married or something. If you're talking about money, don't listen to nobody talking about money that don't got none. They don't have any. They don't know. They stuff don't work, right? So let's figure out what our passion is, right? From the very beginning and be willing to put in the work. If you ain't putting in the work and think about this, y'all, for a minute. Think about this. I'm going to give you a key. You ain't even got to be that much better because 90% of the population ain't even trying. They ain't even trying. So take that with a little bit of talent. Put in the time and effort. That's why I meet people like Les Brown. And I, I probably will allow him to coach, even though I know I already know how to talk. I know how to speak very well. You know, I know I little bird every now and then, but it's a lot of times I do it on purpose. But I already know how to talk. But if you want to perfect your craft, go to where the best are. And he has, I'm saying he has minimal education, but he's done the work. He's been those places. And he'll tell you, that man is 77 years old. He's done the work. He's been there. He's done it. So if somebody's done it over and over again, don't you think they can teach you how to do it? And where's the value in that? How much is that worth to you to catapult you from one level to another, right? You've been taking the stairs this whole time. And I got this from my friend, Dr. Jada. You've been taking the stairs this whole time, right? How about take the elevator by working with somebody who knows? Les Brown know. These people know. Steve Harvey, he probably too high price for anybody. But Steve Harvey know. Watch these videos. Read the books, right? I got so much to talk to y'all about. My 10 minutes is up. But my word for this morning is, if you want it, you got to get up, get out, get something. Go get it and work for it. It ain't easy. You got to start somewhere. Work hard. Ain't nothing wrong with hard work. Young folks, Gen X, Gen Z, get out there and work. Because nothing that you have is easy. And when you don't work for it and you get it quickly, it builds ego. You think you're good. You think you're good. And you're not. Then you lose it, but building it easy over time with great effort, reading and doing the work 
brings character. And now you understand. And when you when you get that character, you're going to want to help other people. So let's start out this day in a great way. Listen, do the work and have a great day. Okay? Talk to y'all soon. Hey guys, Dr. Heavenly Times here. And so many people are asking me about the Heavenly Investment Group. Listen, I started this group for entrepreneurs that are not afraid to take risks. Listen, everything has a risk. Doing nothing has a risk. We talk about real estate and seven streams of income. But with the Dr. Heavenly Investment Group, we have platforms that make you money passively. That's right, everybody's winning. Everybody's winning. From the time you put your money in, most platforms starting out two to four percent on average a week. So what we're doing is we're learning, we're growing together. I say start small, never put in more than you can risk get, uh, losing. But at the same time, you wanna make sure that you put in enough to make you excited, make you watch it, you know? So it's an exciting time here with crypto. We're doing crypto hedge funds, forex trading, and it's passive income, guys. You can't beat that. Okay, we're all winning, we're all making money, we're all learning, and we're all having a good time at the same time. There's no time like the present, no time like the present to learn how to make money, how to be successful. And at the end of the day, the most important thing is having the freedom, the freedom to spend time with our loved ones. Join us at the heavenlyinvestmentgroup.com.